For this video, I am working off of O3 stridelines.aep inside the chapter 3 folder. So if you're working with my source files, feel free to open this up. What we want to do now is add the second set of guides. We have the ground line, but now we need the stride lines. And this is a simple matter of measuring out where our feet are currently, and then adding the guides. But I want to make a couple of corrections to the rig first. It's a little bit off center right now, which is not bad, but I do want to make sure the rig is as centered as possible when performing this cycle. So I'm going to click on the puppet pin tool, command P or control P if you're on Windows, and we're just going to zoom out a bit, or actually let's use the tilde key. I'll click on the composition panel, hit the tilde key, and then I can come in with the puppet pin tool and select all my pins. And now click on one of the selected pins and we're just going to move this so it's a little bit more centered with everything. And release. I'm also going to bring this pin out just a little bit more. So it's a little bit more up and over like that. And these are things we also can continue to correct as we work, but for now, I think this is looking good. To make the guides for the stride lines, we need to make sure that nothing is selected within After Effects. So hitting V on the keyboard to select the selection tool, I'm just going to come on the composition panel and click off to deselect everything. And then I'll come over to the rectangle tool, Q on the keyboard, and we're going to select a different fill color for the stride lines. In this case, let's just make them orange. That way it's different compared to the ground line. And once you have your color, you can click OK. And now this is a simple matter of using the tilde key so we can see the entire composition. And I'm just going to click and drag and come down like this all the way down and we'll create a line similar to the ground line in width. So something about like that. Now taking the selection tool, I'm just going to use my keyboard using the right arrow key to nudge this forward until it just touches the tip of the foot or the toes. And we'll do the same now for the back foot. But to make this easier, I'm just going to click once on that shape and then use Command D or Control D if you're on Windows. That will duplicate the layer and now I can use my arrow keys or just use my selection tool to click and drag and then bring this forward. And then we'll place a second stride line just after the heel. So about right there. I'll use the tilde key now to bring this back out. What this guide now stands for is how far the legs and arms should stretch out when performing this walk cycle. As you can see, my character is quite exaggerated and this is going to be an exaggerated cycle. So if you're doing a more subtle cycle, you might have stride lines that are closer together. It really just depends on how you plan to animate, how you want to add mood to the character and other style considerations that need to be taken into account. But for now, these stride lines should help us with the animation and we can move on then to creating the second step.